Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a drag and drop uh, for your classroom using Google Slides. Um, I created this maths one um, as a graphing lesson for my class. Um, the great thing about it is they're able to manipulate the fruit onto the graph without the full um, graph moving or the little text boxes moving. Um, this allowed for our class in real time to collect some data about the students favorite fruit and then that led us into some conversation about features of graphs. So uh, without further ado let's get started. Basically you want to create this background and freeze it into spot. Okay so that's what I'm going to show you how to do first. So I'm going to insert a new slide here. Just delete this formatting um, and I'm going to create this graph which is really simple. Just grab your line tool, pop that into place, Got your uh, x and y axes. Okay, then I'm going to go in and put in my graph labels. Um, so I've got bananas. Now um, I actually want to make that a little bit larger, the text. Um, and I don't want to have to go and repeat that process every time. So instead I'm going to select the text box. I'm going to do Control C to copy the box and Control V to paste it. I'm then just going to change the word to Apple. Kind of align that properly. Okay, and then again I'm going to um, paste that original box and change the word to pear. Great. Okay, so I have those. I'm now going to give the axes some labels. So this one I'm going to call type of fruit. Um, and this is really important for my class um, for us to have that discussion about labels um, and features of graphs. I'm then going to um, copy and paste this ease, drag it over and call this number of fruit. You might like to call it whatever you like. Um, you may also want to physically go put the numbers along the line but for my lower um, primary class that's not um, appropriate just yet. We're going to be counting the fruit instead. Okay and the last thing I need to do for my graph is give it a title. And that can be whatever you wish. Um, for mine, I'm going to call it Room One's favorite favorite fruit. And I might just bold that, given it's my title, bold, and just center it to my graph. Okay, so um, that's that side done. The only other thing I had here was a um, instruction for my students. So I'm going to quickly go and pop that in. And choose the favorite fruit. Gosh, my spelling today. Um, and drag it onto the graph. And if you're like me, you have an OCD about making things central and lined up and pretty. So I'm going to go make that happen. All right, so this is basically the part of the um, page that I don't want to move. And at the moment, it's all movable. So I'm going to show you how to freeze that in its place. Um, so you're basically going to go and hit File, Download. And you're going to download this current slide as a JPEG image. And for me, um, it drops down into my um, downloads bar here. If that didn't happen for you, that's okay. I can show you another way to um, fix that. So I'm going to create a new slide, a blank slide. And I'm going to insert image. Sorry, no I'm not. <laughs> you're going to slide, change background. If we inserted it as an image, 
then they can still move that image around. If we insert it as a background, um, the picture stays put on the background without being able to be moved. So you're going to hit change background. You're then going to choose an image. It's easy for those who have it downloaded onto this bar because you can drag and drop it. Okay. If it did not um, drop onto your bar, you also can hit browse. Um, and if you go into your downloads folder, you can see here it's, it's um, sitting there waiting to be used. And just waiting for my computer now to be less confused and work. Fantastic. Done. Okay, so now this you can see I'm not able to move. It's created as a background. Um, last job I need to do is go and pop my fruit in. So uh, that's as simple as inserting it as an image. And I'm going to search the, wo the web for my images. You may already have your images saved on your onto your computer. So you can do it that way. But I don't. So I'm going to search. And you can see here I've already previously searched for pears. I'm going to start with apples though because that's just what I want to do. <laughs> so apple clip up. Select my apple and insert. Now, um, depending on the size of your class, you probably need quite a few multiples of each fruit. Instead of each time inserting the image over and over again, you can instead select the image, Control C to copy and Control V to paste. Okay, so I'm going to paste lots of copies and I'm going to be all OCD on you and line them all up. You may not want to be OCD because you may be rushing through this before your lesson and you may just want to throw them in as a bundle and that's okay too. A couple more copies here. Alright. So I've got my apples. I'm then going to go and insert my bananas. Banana clip art. I'm going to select that one. Okay. Resize it down to size. And again, you just select the image, control C, and then control V to paste it lots of times. Just to get this video moving along, I am going to break three of my OCD ways and just put them as a little bundle there for you. Okay. Um, I'm then going to go and pop my pears in. Okay, select my image, insert. Okay, popping down to size and a bit bigger. And again, control C and control V to paste. Okay, so you may need some more of each fruit. And that's okay. Oh, these being unaligned is driving me crazy, but that's okay. <laughs> I could go fix them up after the video. All right, so now you have your fruit for students to select. Um, it's ready to be displayed on your whiteboard, and students can simply come up, select their piece of fruit that they like the best. They then have to find the right place on the graph to pop it. Okay. Um, and once they have all had a shot of doing that, you'll have some great data um, to discuss with the class about which is the favourite fruit type of the class um, and also again talking about the features of a graph. Have fun, enjoy, um, I hope this has been educational for you, I hope it uh, translates into your classroom as a really educational maths lesson hit follow um, to see more videos like this. Have a great day.